Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, November 26th. Is it the 26th? It's Thanksgiving. Um, and surprise of surprise, I'm back at the hut. Didn't really plan on this, but the way things worked out, um, my new job um, gave me like a couple days off, yeah, as well as um, you know, today's um, Thanksgiving. So they didn't need me to come in. I took advantage of that time to head back to Palm Bay so I could spend yesterday, which was Wednesday, with my um, two children. We had a mini um, Thanksgiving celebration and ate um, the rotisserie chicken with some rice over at one of the local parks. So that was my official Thanksgiving celebration with my children, which was um, really a blessing. A true blessing. I'm, I'm so happy that my ex-wife, um, you know, allowed me to see the kids and we got to spend some time together and to um, give thanks. Now, me being back here at the hut this morning is kind of a bonus um, since they don't need me back till Friday. I have to get back to Orlando. Specifically, I need to get to Apopka to... Um, do my second week of training and get myself fully functional and working as a, a knife salesman. So I'm planning on heading back to Orlando tonight or this evening. And supposedly they'll have a hotel room for me. And then that way Monday, I mean not Monday, but Friday morning, I can go to work and, you know, function normal like a salesman. Um, I'm going to... Been the whole day today here at the camp. Not so much to close things out with the camp because the camp's already set and ready to go, but to take advantage of this solitude to have a personal Thanksgiving. Um, feel so blessed to be able to make it out here and to have access to this hut so I could be by myself. Um, I had started filming the Presumed Guilty channel here about a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago, and thought I was going to finish filming somewhere else, but since I have the whole hut for the day, I'm hoping to film all the rest of the episodes um, here before I leave, and that'll be the big focus for today, in addition to learning my um, script for my um, knife sales. You know, the knives I'm trying to sell are, are actually very, very high quality, fantastic knives, and um, definitely with the, the value for what you know, we're selling them for. So the knives kind of sell themselves. It's just a matter of me relaxing and getting comfortable with the script so that um, I can show people how wonderful these knives are and what a great value they are. So that's what we'll be doing today. Um, I have the bike detached, not because I'm planning on riding it, but because I'm going to be accessing the rear of um, Little Blue 2. My uh, vehicle is kind of a mess right now, and I'll be talking a little bit about things, but you can see I now have a suitcase, um, a little mini, that little black one over there, it's a little mini suitcase. It's kind of a mess inside right here. Um, so I'm going to spend today straightening things out, cleaning up, and making the vehicle like a regular vehicle, um, although it can still be set up for camping if need be, because I'm going to need to haul the presentation stand and, some, and possibly some knives in this vehicle. But because they're putting me up in hotel rooms, that shouldn't be an issue. Now, the way that works is um, they expect me to make a certain number of sales, and I have to hit that quota. Um, otherwise, I'm responsible for half of the price of the hotel rooms, which can get expensive. But because I'm on the road, they'll try to put me up in um, hotels for each of the areas that, that I visit, and um, then, you know, I go and I do my sales and then pack up and then go on to the next location. That's what this job, you know, is like for somebody on the road. So hopefully I get good enough this next week here that I start hitting the quota, and then this could be a brand new start for me. So wish me luck, everybody. Hello everybody, um, just thought I'd show off the uh, rocket stove here, about to be fired up for my Thanksgiving feast. I'm currently back at the hut in Camp Freedom 2. It is Thursday, 
November 26th. I think it's the 26th. It's uh, Thanksgiving. And I'm actually very thankful to have this opportunity to be back here. Possibly one last time before I leave this area for a very long, long time. Um, I had my, quote, real celebration yesterday with my two children. My ex was kind enough to let me see my kids for the whole day. And we ended up eating rotisserie chicken from Walmart and some rice and had some ice cream for dessert. So it was a pretty good feast. And, um, you know, we were just grateful to be able to spend the day with each other. They're with their mom today, so I'm by myself. And they gave me off um, from work since it's Thanksgiving. So I will be here throughout the day and then head back to Orlando um, this evening or tonight. Maybe in the afternoon if I get done early. But as you can see, I've got a bunch of stuff set up here. Um, I, I kind of splurged, sort of. Well, not really, because I had a lot of food already. Um, this was reserved food that I have been carrying in the van. And I haven't used um, corn and green beans, um, potatoes with gravy. I cooked some rice already um, driving up here to the compound today. So the rice is cooked. And this morning I went by um, Walmart and I bought a slice of um, ham steak, which I plan on cooking in this pot right here over our rocket stove. So, oh, and I also have um, some jellied um, cranberry, which I don't have it out right now because I have it over here in my um, little cooler with the ice, you know, the free ice I picked up from Racetrack gas station this morning. Looks like my um, thing has a boo-boo there. <laughs> So you can see the, the cranberry right there. I've got it here staying chilled. I had um, chilled it earlier this morning by putting it into um, one of the freezers at Walmart before leaving. I put it there while I was shopping so it would cool down really fast. Hopefully it was enough to kind of freeze it. So this is Thanksgiving. Um, I'm here to give thanks uh, for having made it this far and for you guys sticking with me. Um, and... Um, if things go smoothly this next week, this could be the start of a new life for me. A real life. Not um, just being stuck in limbo for so long. It's been like almost seven years. Interestingly, I, I just noticed, um, this is the last batch of laundry I did um, while I was in Orlando. I hand did it in my little portable laundry thing that I made using the, um, the pickle jar thingy. But it says Victory. It's from Victory Casino. So... With any luck, this is the beginning, the, the victory of having made it through all this. And um, if things go well this next week, then my new life has started. I just started the fire by lighting it up underneath here. And as you can see, it's burning. I'm releasing a lot of smoke. Hopefully it doesn't attract people. But once the fire gets going, we're going to put the grill on it. And set that little, um, we'll put this grill right here, right on there. We'll set our little pot on there and get our steak cooking. I plan on having, um, I guess, a Thanksgiving brunch. <laughs> so I'll have my brunch, try to finish up filming um, the Presumed Guilty channel so I can officially close that out. Give me a real reason to give thanks. Because once that's done, and I get it all uploaded, I'm closing out that part of my life. And I'm um, concentrating on um, making a living as a traveling salesman. I thought I should go ahead and film this segment. Um, just for those who are curious as to how I plan on cooking my um, Thanksgiving meal. I have the ham out here on the um, rocket stove. You can see it's uh, pretty much cooked. So I'm going to be removing that here shortly. And I'll be adding a little bit more fuel to the rocket stove because it's kind of burned out now. And to make the uh, green beans and the um, corn, I'm just going to set these cans right on the rocket stove. Use my uh, gloves here, mitt, oven mitts, to remove them. But I'm just going to set it on there and let it heat up and cook in the can. And meanwhile, the rice is cooked. I'm currently boiling some water right now. See here, I've got the rice cooker and I've got my inverter system going, so I'm boiling a, a pot of water, just a little bit of water, because I'm going to use that to make the um, 
the mashed potatoes and hopefully the gravy and then the meal will be done and I can have it. All right, the fire is almost burnt out now. You can see the cans have been black in here from the heat. So these should be heated up. This stuff can be eaten cold, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So heating it up just makes it taste better. So I got it right now heating up still. Warm, staying on warm here with the heat from the fire coming up. And I've just shut the vehicle down, shut off the engine here because the water you can see is, is now hot. And instead of um, mixing it, like last time I did this, I, I, I opened this up and I put it in there per the instructions, but it made like way too much. And then I had a mess to clean up afterwards. So you can see these two cups I have here. I'm planning on using one to make gravy and one to make the um, mashed potatoes. So what I'm gonna do to, to make that is I'm simply going to um, take this cup, scoop up some hot water, then mix in the potatoes and stir it up. And let's see how that works. Okay, as you can see here, I've got the cup with the um, hot water in it. And I'm just going to add, I'm going to have to cut this guy here because this is going to get really messy. Sorry about that. Cut the tip here. And I'm just going to pour in some of this mashed potatoes. This powdered mashed potatoes. These are like a dollar from Walmart. Um, so I've got the, the mashed potatoes in there and I'm just going to stir it up. You see, I, it's really um, needs more. I'm keep stirring it up. I'm making a mess here. Okay, it's starting to thicken up like um, like mashed potatoes now. And it's looking and feeling like mashed potatoes. So this is my mashed potatoes. So I'll be using this to serve mashed potatoes for one. A cup of mashed potatoes. I got extras. I might toss it out. I might eat it. I don't know. Now I gotta see how to make this gravy. It just says empty contents of this into a small saucepan. Stir water gradually until gravy mixed with the whisk. Stirring frequently. Cook on medium heat until gravy comes to a boil. Reduce heat and simmer. So I'm gonna make gravy, but I'm gonna try to make it in my cup. We'll see how that works, okay? Okay, as you can see, I have a second cup here with hot water. It's not boiling hot, and we're totally not following the instructions. But I'm going to add some of the gravy here and start to mix it up. So let's see how it does. Take our little fork here with the mashed potatoes, and I'm going to mix up our gravy. It's supposed to be boiling this, but I don't feel like making a mess in my pot. I could end up doing it if I can't get it thick. So I'm going to add a little bit more gravy here and see how it does. Add the whole gravy mix. Mix it up. And you're supposed to heat this over a fire, but I'm not going to do that. So we have our gravy. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our gravy in a cup, mashed potatoes in a cup, our ham for our dinner, our rice, and let's put together the dish and see how my uh, Thanksgiving dinner looks, or lunch or brunch, or whatever you want to call it. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, our Thanksgiving feast for one at our hut, Camp Freedom 2. Is this an awesome meal or what? Got, um ham steak which i'm going to save a little bit for later and i've got my jellied um cranberry some cut green beans some corn and gravy and diet coke i went ahead and decided to get a soda just because it's thanksgiving and i have my rice which i'll be eating with it so this is a very good meal and i'll be enjoying my meal out here giving thanks for uh still being alive and for you all joining me and helping to see me through the situation here. Um, I hope to finish filming the rest of the Presumed Guilty episodes so I can put that behind me. I'll film it and then I just need to upload it and um, then that'll be closed out. 
hopefully all this will result in victory here. I don't know if you can see my victory shirt from Victory Casino. But that's uh, the victory shirt from Victory Casino. And we're going to enjoy our meal, finish filming our episodes, clean up, pack up, and head back out to Orlando to hopefully begin my new life as a traveling salesman.